Hello and welcome to another World of Warplanes video. I'm Org and this time I'm flying out in the Spitfire Mark V. And I actually just realised this is the first video in this aircraft I've well put on YouTube. Which what's a bit surprising because I've had it for some time now. I think I've flown about 120 games in it. And I'm guessing the only reason I haven't put any video up is because well I'm kind of average in this aircraft. I mean, I'm not bad in it. I've got 53-ish percent win rate and a positive kill to death ratio. But it's just compared to the Spitfire 1, the Spitfire 5 is not all that exciting. Anyway, as you can see, this game. Well, it's a tier 7 game, and I'm in a tier 6 fighter, which should be bad. But our team has, well, four fighter aircraft versus the enemy's three. Unfortunately, none of ours are tier 7, but we're in this with a fighting chance, is basically what I thought, so long as we can gain the altitude advantage and hopefully use that against the A7M. I thought we had a chance of winning this, but well, we've kind of lost it. The measurement 410 is up really high, but it looks to be stalling, and our friendly measurement 410 is going up to engage it, but it looks like our 14 stalled out. But luckily, Enemy 14 did not, well, wasn't able to take advantage of that. Uh, the A7M's down below me, which is exactly where I want it. But we're going to have to deal with this Messerschmitt 14 first. I'm sure we got incredibly lucky here there, that two of the enemy aircraft, aircraft crashed. Which means that well, we're not winning, but the match is pretty even. And again, our Enemy 14 gets incredibly lucky climbing into an attack. And I'm able to turn it onto the tail of this Messerschmitt 14 as it breaks off from the friendly one. And I get the kill. And from this point on, basically myself and friendly 14 should just be able to tear this enemy team apart. Their only fighter left is this A7M, which is down no dogfighting with a Corsair. And I'm going to build up a lot of speed in this dive, so even though the A7M does have better climb rate and all that than me, I should be able to pull away from it after my attack, which I completely botch, and I don't think I did any damage at all to the A7M before I had to pull up to get away from the cliff. But luckily it tries to chase me up, it does no damage, but sets itself up nicely to take some hits from the Corsair in the 14. Then I come back around, and again, I'm not shooting particularly well, but I get a few hits in. And then going back up. And, well, the Corsair kills it, so good for that. And now there are three enemy aircraft left. They are all ground attack aircraft. And we've got four fighters, so this should be pretty easy, especially since we're all up higher than them. Actually, it's just a three on three now, but still should be pretty easy. Well, except they've got an ME-265, which is quite a powerful ground attack aircraft. I'm coming and positioning myself to do a split S onto its tail. And I get some shots in, but I decide to turn with it here. Figuring that I can always gain my speed back in this situation, that IR2s aren't really a threat in that sense. But the 265 is, so I should just eliminate it as quick as I can. I did a fair bit of damage, but I'm going to have to make another pass. Luckily it's flying straight and level for me. And it's just a case of its hit points outlast my cannons. And there's something on my tail, an IL-2, so I do a bit of evasive and let the Messerschmitt 265 evade me. And instead I go after this IL-2T, which I see is almost dead. And I figure we'll knock that one out quickly. And then we can get back on the tail of the 265. And I thought I'd just be able to, you know, last 100 hit points here. Should be able to knock it out pretty quickly, but you see my hit points are just dropping rapidly. And in retrospect, looking at that now, I'm not actually sure whether the damage was all coming from the IL-2's tower gun, which is what I thought at the time, or that whatever aircraft was, well, the friendly aircraft behind me, kind of shooting right beside me, might have actually been hitting me. Well, I dodged the IL-2's fire and go onto the tail of the Messerschmitt 265, where I'm able to get my third kill, but I've only got 15 hit points left. And this last IL-2 has half itself left. Actually, slightly over half. 
but at the moment I'm out of its tail gun and zone of fire, so I'm going to do what damage I can. And we did a lot. Someone set it on fire. I don't think it was me. I dived down to get under its tail gunner's cone of fire. And come back around and again I'm out of the fire but pretty soon I'll come into it. But it's so low on health so I just keep going. Which might have been a mistake since I die. But luckily it's on very low health and the replay is being pretty weird here. But this 14 is going to come in and win the game for us and I get an assist. And, well there you go, three kills, one assist, and easily top of my team, but not in damage, the Mission Schmidt 14 did way more damage than me, but I was the one getting all the kills, I think a lot of that would be me stealing the kill on that um, Mission Schmidt 14, right at the start, but still, I think I played that game fairly smart, with only, there were probably a few things I would change if I was going to play that game again, like, I'd probably try and evade my friendly Mishmit 14's fire. And whatever. Anyway, this next game I've included, even though it's a bit weird. Uh, basically, this game happened, oh, let's say about two or three weeks ago. And for some reason, for a decent week long period, it just seems like every second or third game I played, I was just getting massive packet loss. And you see throughout this game, if you look up in the top left, it's bouncing around between. I think it just hit 60% there, but kind of bouncing around between 10 and 60%. Which means that in this game you're going to see some very strange fighting and some very strange flying from me, but somehow I actually still managed to do alright. So at the moment I'm just kind of gaining altitude slowly and escorting our friendly ground attack aircraft. It's uh, this match is a bit unfair for us in that we've got more ground attack aircraft than the team, you know, less fighters. And they have higher tier fighters than us as well. So this could be difficult. Which is why, of course, I'm going with the ground attack aircraft, letting them get as much of a head start as they can and just try and keep them alive. And hope that they'll be able to carry us to victory. Okay, it's the first enemy aircraft spotted, and it's a 109G which is a very powerful fighter and it's below, below us so it's obvious it's going to be something that we're going to have to kill when we've got the advantage but I'm not able to get my guns on target they're just, as you see, going everywhere but where I want them to and that was the packet loss we come on the tail of a Corsair and again massively overshoot because of the packet loss but coming around get a few hits into there Come on. And the packet loss stops for a few seconds there. So I'm able to put some shots in. And again, I think I'm just getting so close to this guy now that it kind of doesn't matter that my bullets aren't going anywhere near it. But I was able to kill that Corsair. That 109G just kind of went head on with me. And well, I wasted a lot of bullets firing well after it had passed. Coming back around again. And, well, I got the kill. I think I got it by ramming it, though, which is less than ideal. Yes, well, I just suddenly lost a lot of health, so I'm guessing that was a ram. Mission Schmidt 209, very dangerous aircraft, but I'm going on the tail of the LA-5, because I know I can kill this guy pretty easily when my internet connection is working well for me. But, well, the way this game's going, one needs a little bit of luck, and I'll get it. Oh, and I'm almost dead, only 11 hit points. Wasn't even really aware that anything was shooting at me. I suppose I'm over enemy AA, so... Probably been losing health from that this whole time, just haven't realised it. It was lining up an LA-5. And it's flying straight, and we get the kill. Third kill, all that's left is the Measure Schmidt 209. And we can turn under its guns here, we might have a chance. But, no, we don't. But, anyway... It's a 3-on-3 three three at the moment, and we've got three ground attack aircraft versus the enemy's fighter and two ground attack aircraft, and as you see they actually managed to pull us through the um, ground attack by destroying the targets and then pulling back. And you see there's 6% accuracy, which I'm actually surprised it's that high considering that, um, well you saw how I was shooting. 
This game, it's an old one, and for some reason it's one of the replays that doesn't show up with the kills or the score up the top, so I'll just have to explain what's happening as we go more than anything. It's on the Pacific Ocean, and this time I am top tier, which is the well, first time that's happened in this video. And even better, the enemy's top tier aircraft is well, that IL-2 there, and all their fighters are tier 5. So I was going into this game thinking, I should be able to just kick everyone's ass. The Key 43 there is going to be a problem, as is the A6M2 below me. Because they can turn inside me, whereas everything else I could just be a general turn fighter for. So I thought of diving on the A6M2 here, since, as I just said, it's going to be a problem for me. I want to knock it out early. But, well, I misjudged what it was doing, so I missed my shots. And now I'm in an awkward position because I can either, you know, a dogfight with the A6M2 and the Heinkel 112, or I can climb into a dogfight. And essentially, my overconfidence here, thinking I'll just be able to kick everyone's ass, has actually put me in a really bad spot. So I don't want to have a Key 43 and a P40 above me. But anyway, I've got shots on the Key 43, and I said that's a dangerous aircraft, so I'll put some shots in when I can. See the port 40s wounded. And I'm not shooting very well at all. But I've come around on its tail. And that one's gone. Uncle 112, also on very low health. And that's gone as well. The A6M2, it's turning. Well, it's got an A6M2 on its tail, so it's not having a good day. And that was destroyed. And now the Key 43 is on my tail, which is the worst place you want a Key 43 to be. So I have to go do some energy fighting here, which means I'm putting my nose up, and I'm putting on my boost, and I'm rolling a bit to try and throw off its aim. And will it stop shooting at me, which I hope means it stalled, but I don't think it did. I think it broke off rather than following me up, which was wise. But it means that I'm able to come around now, and put a few shots in its general direction. There we go, I get some hits. Got some decent hits there. Then up again. And over, and repeat. And there's another kill. I actually don't think I killed all those aircraft that were kind of exploding when I was shooting at them. A few of them were assists. From memory, I think I got the Zero, the Key 43, and the P40. And the only enemy aircraft left is the IL-2T. Which... Well... Thankfully, usually teams don't do it, but my team actually ignored this guy for the whole game and concentrated on knocking out the enemy's fighters. So now the three of us, or well, the three remaining fighters on my team, can all just gang up on it, and it's going to be an easy kill for anyone, well, for all of us combined. Whereas for any one of us, it would actually be a difficult kill at the moment, especially since I've got fairly low hit points left. But okay, I'm diving in, making my approach. The A6M2 is going head on, which isn't wise, but gets away with it. I pull up, and funnily enough, it didn't seem like we actually did a lot of damage to that IL-2, even though, well, we took a lot of damage from it. Just a nice quick burst there, it does a little bit more. Its tail gun is hitting me again, but just lining up into a nice long burst in. Don't quite get the kill, it's on 15% health. And my allies are going to work on it. And there we go, and I think that one was an assist as well. But we've won. See, three kills, one assist. So I didn't get an assist on the Heinkel 112. That was just killed by someone else. But still the most damage, most experience on my team, but what do you expect? I was top tier, able to bully people. Even though I made a pretty big mistake at the start. Anyway, that is the Spitfire Mark V. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.